Hello, I'm Rod Drury, I'm the CEO of Xero, and I'm talking to you today uh, from ZeroCon. It's uh, our annual Australian conference, and we've got uh, 1,300 people here. It's just amazing. Yeah, so I think when you get started, it's more about, you know, you want to hit financial goals and look after your family and all of those things. But once you've done that a few times, what you really want to do is change the world. And I think that's the exciting thing. We're up to now 900 staff. You know, we call them zeros and you know, waking up in the morning and having teams in the UK and San Francisco and New York and, and all that sort of family that's uh, sort of happening and we're all passionate about the same stuff is really exciting. So I'm from New Zealand, I, um, I went to Napier Boys High School and uh, that was where I first saw the magic of computing. This was back in the Apple II computer days and we had a fantastic teacher, a guy called Bob McCaw who was passionate about um, you know, PCs coming into schools and um, uh, so we had I think four or five uh, Macs or uh, Apple IIs they were there, we learned to program in BASIC and I remember thinking you can actually um, use your brain to make things, make machines that work and I really love that and I think that you know, right from fifth form at school, you know, sort of 15 or 16 years old, that just started the passion of computing and you know, so far it's worked out alright. So, so after being turned on to computing from school, I did um, an accounting and uh, computer papers were hidden in the accounting faculty at Victoria University in Wellington and uh, found out about information engineering that could actually draw diagrams of how businesses work and how information flows and all that sort of stuff. And then when I decided to work, uh, went to work for Arthur Young, who are in Auckland and in Wellington, a big chartered accounting firm, but they had this information technology practice. So having done the compulsory year of audit, uh, took my way into the IT consulting group. Then we started the software development team uh, inside um, Arthur Young and Ernst and & Young through the merger, and uh, then ended up peeling out and creating our own software company, and this got bigger and bigger and bigger. So this is my fourth or fifth business now. So one of the big issues of building a business from this part of the world, and we're from the New Zealand part of the world, which is even smaller, to get to five million customers, you have to then get offshore, therefore you need to be an export business, so you have to have the money to do that, spend you know, weeks at a time away from your kids. It's actually really, really hard, but you have to chase these big markets. So one of my big bits of advice is, is uh, most people see entrepreneurial stories of a young guy that smacks it out of the park. Great to hear those stories, but a much more repeatable process is uh, thinking of businesses as a series of steps. So with each business you get more experience, you get more of your own capital, greater networks, you've paid back some shareholders, so you get more money the next time. So if you think of businesses as a series of steps, and you always find that after with a bit of experience, your next ideas are even bigger. So um, you know, don't get hung up on you know, getting that first bit of funding and giving it all away. You want to get in the race, become an entrepreneur. Um, and in fact, the way I get started was actually not in my own business, it was being an, an, an entrepreneur working inside um, Ernst & Young, building a software development team and taking them. And that was, you know, I still had my salary and I was able to experiment with, with, uh, with building a business. I know, as a manager, having people coming in with great ideas and saying, I'd really like to do this, is fantastic. We love it when that happens. So even being a, an internal entrepreneur is super interesting. I think the reason people want to work for Zero is we're changing the world and when you meet any Zero you can see that passion and we kind of think of ourselves as this ne next generation, we're global from day one and we're just going to get out and make things happen. So coming into these nimble, well-funded but global organisations just creates, it creates really exciting career choices for people.